Oh, you tell me stories You tuck me in And the second you leave I call you right back To check for monsters in my sheets Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi my name is Lavinia and I post beauty videos regarding makeup and skincare three times a week every Tuesday, Friday and Sunday at 8am Mountain Center time. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love for you to join my channel by hitting the big red subscribe button. So as you could tell, I just finished swatching all of the brand new Milani Color Fetish Shine lipsticks and now we have reached the review part of this video. So I did purchase all 12 shades myself because if you guys don't already know, I am a Milani stan. I literally buy anything they release to test it out. It's one of my favorite, favorite brands. And if they'd ever reach out and if they'd ever sponsor me, I would literally die. But these ones I did purchase myself. They release 12 super fun shades in this line. And they also released their Color Fetish Nude Lipstick line too, which I do have behind me there, which I'll be releasing a lip swatch video on those colors as well very, very soon. But today is just focused on the Shine lipsticks. So overall, this is a very different line for Milani. If we take a look at their past lipsticks, which... I've tried all of them. Um, you know, they've done some amazing liquid lipstick formulas and they even released like a satin liquid lipstick, but still on that matte side. Um, and then even with their regular, you know, color statement lipsticks, which I do have behind me there, the gold ones, those ones do have a bit more shine to them, but they're still, you know, that rich, typical form of tube lipstick. We also have their color statement mattes as well as their bold matte lipsticks. So they've done a lot of stuff and usually they're known for their pigment, formulation, smoothness of their lipsticks, all of that. Apart from that, they do have lip glosses, you know, which of course will be on the more sheer side, like a lip gloss should be, but still very rich formula. These are definitely very different. It's like if a lipstick and a lip balm had a baby, this is what would be born. As you could even see in the swatches, they have a very rich shine to them. Um, and even in their name, they are called their fetish shine lipsticks. But with that, they're not at all sticky. It's a very balm-like texture. Um, so you're going to get that shine out of them without having to put a, a baby sticky gloss over top. So it is kind of nice, you know, if you kind of want some color into your um, lip products, but you don't want to go for a full on lipstick, this might be something that's really nice. Now, I will say the color range is really nice. Now, we do have a couple nudes in here, too. And even one like this that seems a bit darker, like it would come off a of brown. It is more of just a nude shade since it is pretty sheer. We do have some nice pops of colors, too. And something I found interesting was this purple shade, which actually I loved how the color looked on the lips. It definitely doesn't come off this strong purple. It comes off a bit more more pink and sheer so it's actually a very wearable purple if you love purple and would want a purple lipstick but something that's not like boom purple in your face this might be something to consider since it is very very flattering and then we have some of those perfect fall tones too those berries mauves all of that so overall i was really impressed by the shade range now let's start talking actual formula what i did find is these are not all completely consistent at least in my eyes so i do want to give some examples um so first i'll start off with the first shade in the collection lustful so if i swatch this one right here as you can see we do have that balm like texture still some pigment and the color is pretty true to what the actual lipstick itself looks like. If we move on to 140 Crave, this is a bright, bright coral lipstick. And when swatching this, as you can see, that color is a bit more pigment rather than balm. So that's kind of the difference there, but I guess there is a definite shade difference too. Same story with 160 Voyeur. This is our hot pink shade. And as you can see, Pretty vibrant, pretty pigmented. But then like with that shade I was talking about before, Kink in the purple. So this one again looks very vibrant and purple in the actual tube itself. But when we go to swatch, it is a very muted purple as you can see here. It's very dyed down. It's not as vibrant as it looks in the tube. It actually gives you a lot more of a wearable look. Last example I'll give is the last shade 220 Tied Up, similar story. So looks very deep, like a deep brown in the tube. 
and then when we go to swatch it it is more of a nude so i just wanted to point that out since that's something i found that was kind of interesting um so it kind of does depend on the shade but that's why i do these lip swatch videos so you guys can kind of see what different shades look like actually on the lips as well as swatched on the hands so based on that you can kind of decide if you want something more on the sheer side or if you want something a bit more vibrant it does have a pretty sweet like florally scent not an extreme scent on these it's a, it's definitely not something that lingers so i have it on my lips right now and it's not like I can smell it throughout the day but I just wanted to let you guys know about that so you can kind of keep that in mind just in case you're very sensitive to scents because these are that balm like lipstick you do have to be careful with how you apply them and how you're going to be wearing them so when you apply these you do want to be you know careful to not get them all over the place because unlike a liquid lipstick or a matte lipstick that will kind of stay in place where you put it these may kind of bleed a little bit due to that formula um if you've ever even applied like a gloss over lipstick sometimes that tends to do that so what i would recommend is using a lip liner under these 100 percent i obviously didn't in the swatches because i want to show you guys the true colors without anything influencing it but i would recommend that and something you can even do is use like a darker lip liner kind of shade in the lips and then pop one of these over top for that kind of just a nice uh, color to fill in the rest and give you a nice like gradient or something they're very easy to use and especially for like an everyday look these are perfect if you want something very moisturizing i will say that they do have a very moisturizing um, formula and even looking at the ingredients you know we have shea butter jojoba seed oil so there are stuff in here to keep the lips moisturized which is nice you know especially for every day if you want kind of that lip balm and lipstick situation all in one this might be the perfect option for you but like i said you know definitely wear a lip liner and of course they're not going to last as long as a traditional lipstick i would give these a few hours before they start to either absorb into the lips or wear off and it really depends on if you're eating and drinking a lot throughout the day because they will definitely transfer um, but what I've also found is the color does do a pretty good job at staying behind um, so even as it kind of wears off throughout the day you're not left with nothing you know it will kind of stay slightly stain the lips especially with the deeper shades and it will just leave you with a nice flush and they're super really and they're really easy to apply on um, and reapply throughout the day because they're just that balm form you can just go over boom 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 done super easy so if you're someone on the go these might be a perfect option to just throw in your purse also, let's not forget how affordable these are. You know, if you're Canadian, these retail for $13.95. And if you're American, they do retail for $8.99. It's a super affordable price for a product like this. And if you are into more of that natural or more of that shine type lipstick, this might be something you want to check out. I would say it's not really my go-to, especially for the darker shades. I, typic I typically go for more of a matte liquid lipstick, or if I do add a gloss, I'll just add a bit in the center. But for my nudes and the lighter shades i have been loving these they are perfect for school even when i want to do something supernatural just throw a bit of color on but you know they have been super fun to use especially in the summer since in the summer i try to experiment with more color and also give my skin that kind of glowy look and even incorporate that into my lip look by adding a gloss so having a product like this that two in one has been super easy nothing sticks to it it feels very light and smooth on the lips it never feels like heavy makeup which is something that a lot of you may enjoy at the same time if you're someone who likes that precise lip look that will stay on all day that you don't really have to reapply this may not be for you but if you are that type of person you may like this for touch-ups so let's say you use a liquid lipstick in the morning right and it kind of cracks up or dries out your lips throughout the day you can pop some of this on um, as your day goes by just a little bit enough that you know it'll give you a bit of that hydration and blend with your liquid lipstick but not too much that it will bleed and be your full lip look so um that's another way you can use these overall you know i think it's a cool concept i also want to say i really enjoy the packaging of these they're just super fun um very glam but still kind of edgy too so that's super cool i really enjoyed that i like that the color is right on the tube it makes it super easy to see especially with all the lipsticks i own but that's really my thoughts on these lipsticks guys um and my overall review let me know what shade you enjoyed the most out of the lip swatches today and let me know also if you've tried these lipsticks what you think about them if you're thinking about trying them all of that and if you did enjoy this video and want to see more of my lip swatch videos i will link my whole playlist down below i will say right now there's a lot of milani and a lot of wet and wild in that playlist but i do have other lipstick lines as well throughout 
If you haven't already, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also make sure to turn on my post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. If you want to see more of my content, you can check me out on the Acne channel here on YouTube as well as TikTok and Instagram at Lavinia Rosanda for more daily content. I love you guys all so much. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Oh, you tell me stories. You tuck me in. And the second you leave, I call you right back to check for monsters.